everyone, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio. Today's exercise is the push-up, and this is a great exercise for starting to develop the muscles at the front of your shoulder. Um, particularly for people that are having struggle with the range from zero degrees here up to about 90, this is gonna help you start to develop strength in the front of the shoulder to reclaim some of that range. It's a brilliant exercise for also learning full body tension. Um, so we're gonna talk a little bit about technique and positioning and how we can make it easier and harder. Um, and, you know, trying to progress you into what would be a, a full push up off the floor. So with a push-up, you need to consider that if you're pushing, doing a push-up off, off the ground, you're pushing anywhere up to 70% of your body weight. Now, that can be a lot of weight if you're not ready for it, particularly if you haven't got the strength to do at least a few reps of full range. So the, I guess the analogy here would be, if you tried to bench press 100 kilos and you couldn't do it, not just because of the weight, but you don't have the, the range or the ability, then you would change it. And so maybe you can bench press 20 kilos and still touch the bar to your chest and then work your way up, that's the mentality to have with this setup as the push-up. If I can get full range of chest to the object and then reduce the height of the object, I'll be able to build the necessary strength while still getting the, the full range and so the, the full training effect. There's a few things we'll see a lot of the time with particular people that have like neck pain or shoulder pain when they're doing push-ups. And by bringing the box up and deloading them, taking the weight down that they have to press, then we see their symptoms change. It's like a symptom modifier. Um, the technique argument is kind of not, not up in the air, but you know, we'll, we'll see narrow push-ups, wide push-ups, and I think just understand that some push-ups are gonna work different muscles in different ways. It's not necessarily a bad or a good thing. Um, just knowing that can I, well, things to consider are that can you get the full range and what's my sort of head position like? And the reason I bring the head position up is because our neck position is gonna dictate the range that our shoulders can demonstrate. So if my head's forward like this and I can't reach as far, if I come back this way, I can reach further. If my head's forward like this, I can bring my shoulder blades back a certain amount. If I bring my head here, I can get a little bit further. And so that forward head position is going to reduce the range of motion of your shoulders. Whereas if you can keep tall and long, then we're going to have a little more range through our shoulders to play with. Okay. So a bit of talk, but essentially hands on here, the box is going to make me do a bit more of a, a narrow push up. It's going to be a little bit more dominant to some other chest muscles and the triceps. And I'm making sure that I can touch my chest to the object. If I can't, then I'm gonna go higher. Maybe I'd go to this bar, or you know, your kitchen bench at home, or a table, etc. To get a little bit harder, I'm gonna go lower down. So by coming to here, now I'm having to push a lot more of my weight, putting my chest onto the object. What I'm trying to not have happen is lead with my chin. So I'm thinking about something is in front of my face. I'm trying to pull my face away from it. I'm not bringing my face towards it. And the whole time I'm pulling it away. So I'm gonna start in that position and I'm gonna keep it as I come down. So as I come down, I'm still pulling my head away. I'm not letting it drift. That can be a little challenging, particularly if you haven't got the neck flexibility, you've had a neck injury. So reduce the height, uh, sorry, increase the height to reduce the difficulty and you'll find that actually things start to open up a little bit. Over time, you're gonna work yourself down to the ground. Considering that a push-up is basically a plank with your arms moving. So if I'm in a plank position, tall plank, nothing changes in my spinal position except for the fact that I might, lose a I might get a little bit of retraction or, or change in, in my thoracic spine at the very top of the push-up. But point being is pretty much a plank and I'm gonna lower myself down to the ground and not lift that change. I've chosen a bit more of a narrow position. 
wide push-up, that could be your option too. Just depends on what your interests are. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.